Hi guys, I'm Bill from Delft Construction and we're here to talk about circuit protection. Our insurance company tells us we're not the only ones to have losses due to uh, faulty wiring. Basically, getting a wire pinched or, uh, or chafed uh, and going to ground and uh, causing fires. Number one, I would say the routing of that wire is, is most important. I've put things in, thought I had it in the perfect spot and shut that hood and that hood hinge comes down and pinches it and that lets you know right away you didn't do a good job uh, routing it. After you route this thing, make sure it's clear of anything. It's not going to rub through, rub to ground anywhere. You can use split loom, wrap loom, which is a pain in the butt to put on, it takes forever, but it's, it's better than nothing. This, uh, this stuff's good, you see this uh, used in the audio industry quite a bit. And then a thermal protection too, this is a silicon jacket. Uh, if you have wires going next to headers or a potential heat source, this stuff's really good. These devices aren't just cheap insurance, they're very, very necessary. To wire a circuit without protection uh, is, is crazy. Anything that you're going to add, any kind of aftermarket, whether it be lighting, a starter circuit, or maybe even an amp for the stereo. You need to protect the circuit. What we found to be key to protecting circuits is to keep the circuit breaker or fuse as close to the power source as possible. POW! No harm, no foul, nobody's on fire. Stay safe and take your circuits seriously. <laughs>